I feel warmer already. Huh? Oh, now what? How about another game of fox and geese? Now you're talking. Have a seat. Ready? Actually, I changed my mind. I don't See, Nancy? Play right now. Okay. He won't let me. So what can I do for you? He won't let me change it. I kept it. you awake long enough. You want to talk? You know where to find me. Cause look, I also don't have the pig token. That's also a problem. Huh? Oh. Now what? I'll let you get back to your nap. Hasta siesta. That is also the problem. I don't have the pig one. Because, see, yeah, the thing is, in the mine, in order for me to get the big token, there's a rope in the mine that Isis has to hold and pull. So, I have to go back there, and I have to figure out how to get into... find the rope, for one, and have him hold it so that I can go back and get the pig token. Because that's, that's where the... the token is is in the, the the pig boar thing upstairs so I have to do that to be able to do anything I can try I can try Nancy I can try but also wolf has to go there because I believe that leads up to the second level so we have to get the wolf there so he can go up in the second level. Unless I can just find the second level myself, which in that case I may be able to just... I may just be able to do it myself. Just walking along... There we go. We're here. Um, right here. Yep. Okay. Go up. See? Yeah. We have to get him up here, and we have to do that by going through the maze. That's what we have to do. So once he gets up there, he can hold that rope, and then he'll be able to... The wolf will be able to hold that, and we can go ahead and, you know... Be able to do that stuff. A moose, a wolf, a raccoon, and a pig. The same animals Trapper Dan mentioned in his journal when it came to getting into his needle without the key. I'll bet that's what's behind this wall, a room below the needle. Next thing I have to do is get each of these panels open. Yep, I just put that one in there. Hopefully I don't need it. That's locked. <laughs> Uh, we, we may actually finish this this stream. It depends. But I'll go check that, because we have to get the wolf up there. Just, just need to look at the cues, maybe, to figure out. Because I thought right would be right. Like, correct. <laughs> Forward. Right. Left. Right. Jump. Around? Around. I don't know what around means. So, but if we go forward... Forward. Right. right left, left. Right. right jump, jump. Forward. Isis. Forward. Right. Left. Right. Jump. Forward, go. Because it's forward, right, left, right, jump, forward, go.
go. There we go. I had to add the forward. Okay, you stay there, boy. Don't move at all. Yep, got it. Was Nancy wearing those snowshoes in that in the mines there all along? Because she still has them on. <laughs> I so like not to have not cooking dinner anymore or lunch or breakfast. It's so nice. I love doing that though, but I like that now it's obsolete. Because it would be very annoying if you'd have to go through the entire game doing that. Boy. Okay. Much better. I was really cold. Bet you were, Nancy. Bet you were. Well, nope. Well, what the? My jacket. I'm getting a definite feeling I'm not wanted here. Oh. Oh boy. That was creepy. Um Oh, well, he's not there. So, I'm going to go set my alarm. I, w I was so confused cuz like that room was the room where that woman got kicked out of. And like, why do we have, why do we have the ability to clean a room again? Is that a glitch, or? I know it wasn't. <laughs> and look, oh. Which I, I'm going to do laundry, because I don't mind doing laundry. It's not that time consuming. And I don't want to get a possible chance of getting fired this late in the game, so. Um, apparently I can't even replace it now. Oops, haven't done that. Check. Can't, can't check that off yet. Um, okay. What do you want from me, game? <laughs> Geiger counter. Um. Yeah, now I have to play with with him using the the pig token, but he's not here. 
Isn't this nice? What the... Excuse me? I should put on a coat before I go outside. Well, nope, I did not want to do that. Did you hear those footsteps? It wasn't just me, was it? You heard those footsteps, right? New Talbot's gone, in case you didn't know. Just up and left. Uh-oh, Chantal's not gonna like that. Yes, I heard the footsteps. You don't have to do the cooking anymore. I can handle it from here on out. Well, I already knew that, so thank you. <laughs> I'd better get back upstairs. But yeah, the footsteps in Ten Dog. That's just that's very creepy and very weird. I don't know. That was weird. And I need this guy to come back so I can play with him, but he's not coming here. Come here and let me play fox and geese with you. I need to play fox and geese. <laughs> hey Nancy, what you need? Think you could give me a hint? About what? A lot of Trapper Dan's journal is written in a code that consists of two lines of jumbled up letters. Any idea how to decipher it? Sounds to me like a railroad code. You read it top to okay, bottom. Okay, I I knew that already. Right. In other words, go from the first letter in the top line to the first letter in the bottom line. To the second letter in the top line, to the second letter in the bottom line, and so on. Keep going like that and see what gets spelled out. Sounds good. All in a day's work. See ya. Yeah, uh, Chantal. Hi, Chantal. I finished that survey and faxed it to Tina. That was a while I ago. I was a little disappointed to hear that it had failed to pinpoint the culprit, but Tino said he's still analyzing the data, whatever that means. Anyway, what else is going on? Oh, lots of stuff. Do you have any idea what would make Bill Kessler think that your father cheated Tilly Wentworth when he bought Icicle Creek Lodge from her? What does Bill Kessler know about it? Apparently, she was his grandmother. <sighs> okay, here's what happened. Apparently, Tilly Wentworth got addicted to the Shop at Home channel and couldn't stop buying things. And pretty soon, she was in debt up to her eyeballs. So finally, totally desperate, she went to my father and offered to sell the lodge to him for just enough money to pay off her creditors. But there was one stipulation, that my father never tell her family the real reason she was selling. Why not? She was embarrassed. She didn't want her children and grandchildren to discover that she'd squandered their inheritance. So my father bought the lodge from her, and as it turns out, she passed away soon afterwards. My father kept his word and never said anything to her family, even when they started saying that he'd somehow forced her to sell the lodge to him at a ridiculously low price. Wow, Bill Kessler has no idea. Well, unfortunately, it's gotta stay that way, so don't tell him. It's what his grandmother wanted. Did Ollie tell you that Guadalupe Comillo checked out? Yes, he told me. Did he tell you he pretty much threw her out? Well, good riddance, right? I mean, he said she was an environmental nut job. In fact, he said he wouldn't be surprised if she's the one who caused those accidents and blew up the bunkhouse. I don't think so. You don't? I was hoping I could tell my lawyers that the case is closed and come home. I still have to come up with proof. Oh, that. Well, the lodge is probably better off without her in any case. Although she did pay for her stay in advance. And in cash. Cash is good. Oh, well. Anything else to report? Did you hear that Lou Talbot left the lodge? Yes. This is not good, Nancy. When he checked in, he indicated that he was going to stay much longer than this. Maybe his bed was too soft. Or maybe it was the food. Oh, Nancy. It wasn't your cooking, was it? <laughs> Actually, he left because I no. busted him for stealing dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? I know for a fact he took the one that was in the lobby. There was a dinosaur bone in the lobby? Trapper Dan referred to it as a Rex bone. And for all I know, Lou may still be around here, camping out while he looks for more bones. Well, make sure that what few 
guests I still have are well treated, okay, Nancy? And please get to the bottom of this thing soon, I'm trying. okay? Tino keeps calling me with all these cockamamie theories, and frankly, I'm starting to think that he's a bit of a jerk. Wonder what Did gave you that idea? He's building a trap to catch the wolf that's been hanging around? No, but he told me he'd been having trouble shooting it, so good for him. Whatever it takes to get rid of it. But why does he need to get rid of it? It's not hurting anything. Yeah. It's freaking out my guests, which means it's hurting my bottom line, especially on top of everything else that's been happening. But why not say, call a wolf sanctuary and have them come and take the wolf away? That would certainly be more humane. Look, Ollie's had a lot of experience with varmints or whatever he calls them, so I have to assume that he knows best. In fact, I think he used to hunt wolves for food. Or was that bears? <laughs> Lions, tigers, bears, wolves, they're all a huge insurance risk for someone in my business. So I don't care how Ollie does it. I just want that wolf gone. ASAP. I better get back to work. Don't let me down, okay? Okay, um. Snoring? Apparently not. Um. Nine? There he is. Huh? Oh, now what? How about another game of bucks and geese? Now you're talking. Have a seat. Ready? Would you mind if we use this pig Would piece? you mind if we use this little pig I found in place of the fox piece? Fine by me. The problem is, I already put the wolf token in. I hope we don't have to use the wolf token here, because I already put it in the thing. Looks like a pizza. That's bad. Only the pig token? Oh, okay. Hey, CJ, welcome. You're pretty good. Well, would you look at that? His eyes turned red. That is some pig you got yourself there. Okay, if we start over. Huh? Oh. Now what? How about another game of boxing? Okay, so it's only now the pig you're one. Talking. Have a seat. Ready? I'm going to replace the fox with my pig again. Thank you, CJ. Go right ahead. Okay, so what now? Now that I have that done, and he falls asleep really quickly. Um, I don't know exactly, um... What else I can do? I think we have to head back now, and I'm wondering if the pig gate will be open now. I... Yes, he is. The thing is, you leave, and like he's just he's just straight back to sleep after you leave. He's like, oh, what? I'll play fox and geese. Okay, I'll play fox and geese. <gasps> I 
don't even think I'm gonna need those um those like packs that warm me up. Well, <laughs> that that is a bit of a problem because I already put the wolf token over here. So, oh wait, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I have to like, I have to get the pig token in each of the four corners. I got it. I get it. Okay. Well, now that I'm here anyway, the pig one's already open, so I'll just do this while I'm here. I'm already here, so I may as well. So it's just forward, 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 jump, paw, go. Forward, 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 jump, paw, Isis. Forward, 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 jump, paw, go. I get what you're saying. Because I remember that puzzle being very complex and very annoying. The top and the bottoms are going to be easy. The, the, the sides are going to be incredibly difficult. So I bet that that'll open the pig one up top there. So, but I have to head back now because I have to play Fuss and Geese three more times. Yeah, good, good job, Isis.